This video is about string processing in general and string processing in Python in particular. We're going to look at this problem which we've already developed some pseudocode for related to printing out a string in reverse. Uh, to work with the string first we need to get a string and it's important to use the keyword raw input to get a string. And the important thing to understand is that computers treat strings like arrays, like an array of characters. So we can use array syntax, like using the variable name like our array name, and then a subscript or index number inside brackets to get one location within that string. So just to make sure this works, let's start with something very basic and simple, just to prove the concept and then we will expand on it and try to do what the program is really asking us to do which is just to print it in reverse. So we need to not print the first letter first, we want to print the last letter first. So you can see in our pseudocode we had to get the length of the array. So in Python we just have to figure out how to do that. Is there a library function? As soon as we start to type len we see it turns purple so we know it's a keyword. You might need to do some research to figure out that that's what um, that was the command necessary, but the len function will return the length of the array. So if we look at the word gravity, it's going to start with an index of 0 and go to an index of 6 in Python, but the length is still going to be 7. It's the, the length is the number of spots for that particular example. We have to use a library function because we don't know what the user is going to type in. They could type in a seven letter word, they could type in a four letter word, they could type in anything. And the important thing is we have to subtract one from the length because in Python the subscripts start at zero, so the last subscript is going to be one less than the length. We saw that in our picture um, that the length was seven, but the highest subscript was six. Now we want to do a loop in order to keep on printing out the letters. We could just subtract one to do the next lowest one, but again we don't know how long this loop or this string is going to be, so we need to we need to loop through it. We could use a for loop. Python has many options of for loops, so you can look up the syntax uh, to do a for loop similar to our pseudocode, and there is something that will be very similar. Or you could do a while loop. But to s understand what needs to happen in the loop, you know, we can just do it longhand just to make sure that it works and just to visually see how the loop has to work. You see, even with the four letter word, we get the last letter and then one letter less. So by doing this, it shows us what needs to happen over and over again. We need to print the letter and then decrement index. You make it one less. And I'm not going to show you the condition, but hopefully you can figure it out for yourself. The condition where we want to stop the loop is based on the index. We want to keep going until we get to this first letter. And so that just takes, you know, thinking about the problem and then know that we need to print out each letter and then subtract from the index. Now, this is going to print out each character on its own line, and that's fine to do. But just in case you're wondering, or if you really wanted to reverse a string for another situation, you can build a string. All right, this is another string function you can do in, in just about every programming language. I'm going to create a new string called reverse string, and rather than just printing, I'm going to assign to that reverse string, and I'm going to treat this almost like an accumulator, where I'm appending to or concatenating an existing string with each letter as I go. So I'm building a string within the loop and then after the loop is over I can print the string. The only thing I need to do in order for this to work is to create an empty string above the loop so it knows to start appending. And that will be a nice user-friendly way of doing it. 